everybody, I am back with a long overdue Joanne's haul. It's heavy. First off, I just want to share that I absolutely love Joanne's seasonal totes. Like every spooky season, I try to get one. So I picked this one up this year. This is some boo sheet. <laughs> I thought it was super cute. It's got the little jack o' lantern handles and the little ghosties. Nice bag. I love using these for project bags, especially if I'm working on a blanket or a sweater and there's like a ton of yarn. I can get everything in here, the printout of the pattern, my hooks, scissors. So cute. I'm just gonna show you guys things in the order that I went to do ends. I'm always on the hunt for a spooky mug. I love a spooky mug. You spooky mugs year round. I'm trying to limit myself to like two this year. I always try to do it. We'll see if it actually happens. I was lucky enough to find this little cutie. You can see there's little skull with bone detail, kind of like a terracotta finish here. How many ounces is this? 16 ounce. I love a big mug. I absolutely love the neutral tones. Super cute. This will be great like year round. Also somehow during the moving process, our bottle opener, wine opener, the cork thing didn't make it. So I need to replace that, but I was looking for something because I've been wanting one of these little cuties for so long. So it is the skeleton bottle opener. Absolutely love this. So cute. I got a bunch of florals for the Halloween tree from uh, Joann's and Michael's. So if you guys haven't seen that, then please check out Two videos ago, my fall haul. It's the first fall haul video of the season. And then you can see how I actually use those florals in the Halloween tree. Other than the tote bag, it's an item that I try to pick up every year, spooky socks. Joanne has one of the best selections of spooky socks, fall socks, holiday socks, period. But oh, absolutely, I love these little vintagey looking Halloween ones. There's that. And they appear to be like pretty big, like, longer than a cruise sock, so, oh, so adorable. Love these. Also, I found an item that I've been looking at on the website since they dropped like spooky thing. Well, not back in April, but early this summer. And I was keeping my eye on the inventory number, trying to wait for it to be marked down a little bit more and a little bit more, but make sure that it was still in stock. So when I was in store, I actually found it. This adorable little light up skull. So excited to have this. In the spooky family but it's just weird you guys because it lights up but if you can see the lights are red and green like it's giving christmas wrapped in a halloween package i don't understand it hopefully it'll look cool because oh, absolutely love it love it so much i have a sewing machine i call it my dust collector because that's all that it's done <laughs> oh my gosh and so i am on a mission this season to learn how to use my sewing machine and actually use it. So I bought some fabric when the fabric was on sale. I always forget that spooky season fabric. They put it out like around 4th of July and I totally forgot, but I was still able to get some good stuff. Let me show you guys what I ordered. Did a little uh, buy online and store pickup to get that discount at Joann's. If you know, you know. Oh, but first of all, I was there because I made a Beetlejuice cardigan and I was running out of black yarn and wanted to make sure that I had enough. So I was searching the stores and it's really, really hard to find black yarn for some reason for uh, the house brand, their big twist value line. I sc scrounged and scrounged and found two skeins of this. So since it was, I was just gonna get one, but since it was so hard to find, I was like, oh my God, everybody must be making all of the things. I grabbed two just to be safe because I always like to have black yarn on hand. The main project that I want to learn to sew that I've been wanting to learn for so long, and no pun intended, a circle skirt. I would love to make a circle skirt. So I picked up three fabrics. I got this one, this little autumnal plaid, and then this one. I think these will just be super cute absolutely love them so happy with the fingers crossed it actually happens this year when i was searching for patterns for beginner circle skirt tutorials 
Another project that I've always wanted to make is an apron. I picked up two fabrics for that. Kind of a spooky tree pattern. It's dark. I figured this would be great for an apron, like getting dirty, stuff like that in the kitchen. And I also grabbed spooky tree moon bat <laughs> pattern. Absolutely love this. I think these will make super, super cute aprons. And I can kind of alternate and put the pocket of like one print on the other one. I think these will be so cute. I'm really excited. Again, to me all the good spooky sewing learning vibes so it actually happens this year <sighs> i'm a freaking mess you guys okay so i had another or pickup order in store for socks and uh let me show you i bought it twice like didn't even realize like this this is what happens but because things have been in bags waiting for me to film the hauls so this will be going back to Joanne's and exchanging for a different pair of spooky socks. But I also got a pair of fall socks as well. I thought these were super adorable. And uh, Haunted House bats. Come on, of course. It's kind of like the theme this year. Just somehow happened and things came together for a spooky Haunted House vibe. I got some fall head pins too for sewing. And while I was walking around, because you know I always have to take a gander even if I just call myself running in and out to pick up an order, I got some black thread for said projects and a little, just little scrap piece of fabric just so I can practice getting my lines straight before I dive in. I found an item that I've been looking for for years past that I've seen people haul. I was never lucky enough to find it. I came across it this year little skull container yes so excited I'm planning on putting my hooks in here hopefully it works it's kind of deep so I need to figure out what I can put in the bottom and have my crochet hooks go with the little spooky canister uh too cute another item that I want to add to the sewing project list uh on paper towels I have been interested in those for a couple of years I've never actually pulled the trigger and bought any but in searching for how to make aprons and the other things I'm interested in, I've seen uh, people making their own unpaper towels and I went with these two cotton fleece fabrics. So it's a square, it has to be beginner friendly, right? It, it can't be that hard. And to go with that, I got some Insole Bright. This is the heat insulating fabric that you use for hot pads, things like that. So, have to do it, right? Have to do it. I have all of these things, and I haven't even shown you guys my little like sewing item haul. <laughs> Mind you, I've had fabric like that I love, spooky season fabric from maybe like last year, or the year before, just sitting, just sitting with yarn in my things. Haven't made anything, wanted to make skirts out of those and book covers. Haven't done it, so this is the year. I'm putting it out there. This is the year. <laughs> I picked some simple things, an apron, pretty much a square. Towels, paper towel, un unpaper towels, square. Elastic circle skirt. Can't be that hard, right? So we'll see. We have come to the last two items in the haul. Alrighty, I was gifted, you know the skeleton bust, um, if you guys, I don't know if you've seen it, it has like the pot at the bottom, like a planter, and there's like the rib cage, and it usually has like flowers and branches and different things in it. I was gifted one of those, absolutely love it, have won it one for years, like years and years, but the flowers that are on it. It doesn't really go with the vibe of like the Halloween tree and the other florals that I have in the house. Of course, I ran to Joanne's to see if I could find any of the same florals that were on the Halloween tree. And no luck. The orange rose is gone. The pumpkin stick's gone. <laughs> Horrible. But I did find these orange dahlias that are like the same color as the florals on the Halloween tree. I'm gonna do a little DIY and zhuzh it up and have it coordinate with everything that's going on in here. And whereas it's not the same, 
they're in the same color palette, like almost the same color as the roses. So this will work perfectly. I love a spooky towel. Year round, spooky towels in the kitchen, absolutely love them. I didn't get any last year and the ones that I've had, I kind of, I think I got rid of, like purged before moving. I need it re-up. And I've been looking at Joanne's like every time I go, but it's like, I don't know if you guys know, how do I describe it? It's the towels that don't feel like terry cloth. They're like really thin feeling, almost like a, not plastic fiber. I wanted ones that felt actually like towels that you would use to dry dishes, to dry your hands, not just a little Halloween decoration. And there was a bunch of really, really cute ones. The selection, as far as like graphics, the prints, super cute, but just they did not feel good. But the ones that actually felt like real legit towels, ended up getting bats. I love bats. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> I thought this was great. And then this one I thought was super adorable and I could totally leave this out year round. I could this too and have no problem doing it, but. So I got these two towels. That's everything that I have gotten from Joanne so far this season. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know which item did you like? Have you seen any of these in the wild? Do you have any of these? Are you gonna go to Joanne's in search of something? <laughs> I love living vicariously through you guys. I've been trying to keep it like under control this year and like not do too much. I've already done more than I wanted to do. I absolutely love the items that I got and they're things that like I always say I will use a year round. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. So happy it is the first day of fall today. We made it. <laughs> so, so excited. Um, excited to film more content. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you soon.